टुडे वी आर गोइंग अ लिटिल डिपर इन टू द फील्ड ऑफ एन एल पी एज वी आर डेवलपिंग अ सिक्वेंस टू सिक्वेंस मॉडल टू परफॉर्म मैथमेटिकल ऑपरेशन ऑन इन टीचर्स कीप वॉचिंग ऑल एमी कॉज दिस इज सोमवेर एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल मके इंस्टीट्यूट इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एन एल पी एंड अल्टीमेटली बिल्ड एन ए आई फॉर आर सेल्स In the previous video we used neural networks to generate text I will put the link of the previous video in the description or on the cards Today we will be developing sequence to sequence model which will use a simple encoder decoder model to perform arithmetic operations on numbers So without wasting any more time let's have a look at the video So guys today we are going to build a sequence to sequence model using LSTM in Keras so that we can perform mathematical sum using our model so what is a sequence to sequence model basically the input to the model is in the form of sequence and output is also in the form of sequence which basically gives it the name sequence to sequence so there are different kinds of sequence to sequence model some of them are listed here first one is one to one where one input is provided to the model and only one input is taken out next is one to many where one input is provided to the sequence and multiple outputs are taken out for example image captioning one image is provided as input to the model and the captions in the form of string are required as an output next is many to one so multiple inputs are provided to the model and only one output is expected basic example of this can be seen in forecasting problems last is many to many where multiple inputs are provided to the model and we expect multiple outputs from the model basically it is used in uh, cases like machine translation where language is translated from english to french or english to german so we are going to use many to many sequence model so the internal structure of the model will look something like this we have one encoder which takes input and encodes it and provide the input to the decoder where decoder uses the input from encoder and decodes the sequence so that we can get the output what we are going to do is we convert the integers into strings and then we provide this to model so that we can get the output as sum one example of neural networks performing the mathematical sum can be seen at google where we give two numbers and we expect output from it as we can see here so going forward looking at the flow of our program first we will generate the input data that will be used in our training purpose so we will have a pair of numbers in x which are less than 10 and in y we will store their sum as we can see here 3 plus 10 is 13 so the next step will be converting them into string so from integers we can see that they are converted into strings the next step will be integer encoding them as we know that the machines are not capable of understanding the strings and perform any action on them so we convert them into integers this is similar to word tokenization the next step is one hot encoding or binary encoding the x and y so as we can see in the integer encoding one sequence of x is a, is a vector of size 6 So once we one hot encode them, the shape will be in size six into twelve. Where at the index of each integer, one will be provided, other all values will be given zero. So once we are done with one hot encoding the inputs, we create our model using Keras layers. So the first step is importing essential libraries such as TensorFlow, NumPy, and some libraries from Math, some libraries from Random. One thing to note is I'm defining some functions which will generate data and perform operations on it. And at a later stage of coding, I will put all the functions in one place so that it will be under one functions to perform all the operations. For the sake of explanation, we are defining the functions and we are also generating data side by side. So we define a function where we generate random numbers and put them in x and y. So in x we will have pair of two numbers and in y we will have their sum as we can see here then the next step is to convert the integers into string so here we define a function string convert which will convert the integers into string 
and the other operation it will do is it will take the maximum input and output lengths of x and y and it will pad them it will put extra spaces for sequences or list which are less than the maximum input or output length and this step we have converted the integers into strings and padded them so now we need to integer encode them so that computer can understand for this we need to understand one thing as the generated numbers are not more than 10 so the dictionary can be formed like this it will contain uh, digits from 0 to 9 1 plus and a blank space we define a function integer encoding where it will encode the input and output which is x and y into integer encoding as we can see here so once we are done with integer encoding the x and y then we need to binary encode them we define a function of one hot encoding which will basically uh, reiterate through each sequence and each index of the input and output and one hot encode them until now we were working on list but now we need to convert them to array so that we can provide them as an input to the model so once we look at the shape of one hot encoder and y one hot encoded so once we look at the shape of x one hot and y one hot we can see that the shape is 1000 by 6 into we can use this data to initialize our length of input sentences length of output sentences and our vocabulary size once we are done with this we are now ready to provide this data to our model and also the output of the model will be in form of integer as we are providing integer input to the model so we need to convert this output integer into the string or human understandable sequences so for that we are using one function invert which is basically the inverse of integer encoding and it will provide character from the integer so then we move on to building our model first we provide this input with shape t into s where t is length of input sequence and s is the vocabulary size then we provide one lstm layer with 100 input dimensions this lstm layer basically behaves as encoder layer for this model and we have one more lstm layer which behaves as decoder layer lstm for our model we are using a repeat vector which repeats the input lstm layer why because the output of this lstm will be one dimensional and the input expected at this lstm layer will be in the form of three dimensional we are using repeat vector which repeats the lstm layer two times so that it is compatible with the decoder lstm layer then we use dense layer to provide output of our model and we are using activation softmax because it is a categorical classification also here we are using time distributed because dense layer gives only one output at a time in our case we need two outputs that will be the output sum of two integer values so we are using time distributed so that we are we can use the same dense layer twice we initiate our model, we compile our model, we fit our model on x1 hot and y1 hot and we run it for 100 epochs. Also we are splitting the data for validation as 20% means 20% of the data will be used as validation. Once the fitting is completed we can see that we are getting 100% accuracy at the end predicting the values and testing our model so for that we generate a random set of data of x and y using the generate data function we defined earlier we use the model.predict to predict the values and place the predicted values as result so if we look at the first 20 numbers with the predicted value and the original value we can see that we are getting 100% accurate answers where expected and predicted are same in all the case so we can say our model has successfully predicted the correct values so the last step is saving our model so that we can use it in further applications so that was the video guys i hope it was informative and i am able to make you understand some concepts of nlp let me know in the comment sections below any suggestions or any improvements on this model if you loved watching the video please give a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out any further videos keep watching and Adios.